Hi, this is Mr. Matt Techniques and welcome to my channel. Last time we discussed about the laws of exponents for multiplication. So I suggest that for our friends who are just with us today, please uh, go back and watch our video so that it would be easier for you to understand our topic for today because in there you were taught when to multiply your exponents, when to add your exponents, and so on and so forth. So. I suggest that you go back and watch this video. So today we're going to discuss about the laws of exponents for division. And under this, the quotient with a common base. Like for example, your x raised to m and x raised to n, wherein your x are the common base of your fraction and your m denotes the exponent of your numerator and your n denotes for the exponent of your base n. And to solve this, there are three cases for that. Case 1 is when the exponent of your numerator m is greater than the exponent of your numerator n. Case 1 is when your m is greater than n. So that if you have x raised to m over x raised to n, so for this, you subtract the exponents, that is, m minus n. Don't forget that m, your m here, is greater than your exponent n. Okay? So that is, for example, if you have 5 raised to the 5th power over 5 raised to the 3rd power. See? Okay? So 5 is your common base where 5 is your m and 3 is your n. To solve this, you have your common base, 5 raised to 5 minus 3. And that is 5 raised to the second power, or 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 raised to the fifth power over 5 raised to the third power is equal to 25. Now let's solve example number 2. When you have x raised to the fourth power over x squared is equal to x your exponent 4 minus 2 that will be equal to x 4 minus 2 is 2 so x raised to the fourth power divided by x squared is equal to x squared <coughs> k next is 8 a raised to the 8th power b cube all over 4 a raised to the 4th power b so we put here now 8 over 4 that means 2 it is and we subtract the exponents of your common boy your common base a so 8 minus 4 your common b base b you have 3 minus 1 because the exponent of your b is 1 and that would be 2 a 8 minus 4 is equal to a 4 and b 3 minus 1 is 2 so 8a raised to the 8th power b cube all over 4 a raised to the 4th power and b is equal to 2a raised to the 4th power b squared and that is your answer our uh, next example is 2x raised to the 10, y raised to the 4th power, z raised to 6, all over 6, x squared, or y squared. Now you have here 2 and 6. Okay, so 2 over 6. You can reduce that to cancel this and cancel this. You have 1 and you have 3. Therefore, it is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, so that would be now equal to, let's take 1 over 3. And then you subtract the exponents of your x. With x, 10 minus 2, and y, 4 minus 2. For your z, do you have a z for your numerator? No. So what you are going to do with this, just copy your z 
raised to the 6. Okay? That would be... Now, since this is 1, there's no need to write as a coefficient of x. That would be x, 10 minus 2 is 8, y, 4 minus 2 is y squared, and z of raised to the 6 all over 3. So there's no need to write for the 1 here because it's understood that it is 1. Okay, so there's no need to write your 1. And that is the law of exponent for division when your m is greater than n. That means the exponent of your numerator is higher than the exponent of your denominator. Now let's take case number 2. When your m is less than your n. That means your x m over x raised to n the value of your exponent n is more than the value of your exponent m. In case number 1, the exponent uh, m has a greater value than exponent n. Here in case 2, nabaliktad, it's the other way around. It is, it is the exponent n has a greater value. So what we're going to do is, how to solve this? It 1 over x raised to n minus m okay so remember that you always subtract from the exponent with a greater value for example if you have 5 raised to the third power over 5 raised to the fifth power that would be so this 1 over 5 and your exponent for your denominator is 5 minus the exponent of your numerator, that is 3. That is 1 over 5. What is 5 minus 3? It is 2. That is now equal to 1 over 25. That means 5 cubed over 5 raised to the fifth power is equal to 1 over 25. For example, number 2, when you have x squared over x raised to the fifth power that would be 1 over x n which is 5 minus m that is 2 that would be 1 over x raised to the third power so x squared divided by x raised to the fifth power is equal to 1 over x cubed let's take another example 25 x raised to the fifth power z raised to the fourth power over 5 x raised to the 9 and z raised to the 13 okay don't forget your formula wherein your x raised to m over x over x raised to n is equal to 1 over x n minus m so that is our formula when your m is less than n that would be you have your 25 divided by 5 25 over 5 is equal to 5 so that would be 5 now remember your formula that is 1 over x raised to n minus n it would be x your common base x and your numerator has a greater exponent that is 9 minus 5 and z 13 minus 4 would be so since 5 times 1 is 5 all over x raised to 9 minus 5 is x raised to the fourth power and your c 13 minus 4 is 9 therefore 25x raised to the fifth power z raised to the fourth power all over 5 x raised to the 9 z raised to the 13 is equal to 5 all over x raised to the 4 z raised to the 9 that is your answer now let's take your case number 3 
when your m when your m is equal to n and that would be x raised to m over x raised to n is equal to x raised to m minus f since they are equal okay that would be x raised to zero and any number raised to zero is always equal to one how come that it is one okay let's prove when you have five square over five square is equal to five two minus two is equal to five in raised to zero is equal to one ano nangyari yung one okay let's have this five times five over five times five okay you cancel this you cancel this you cancel this you cancel this what remains is one over one and one over one is equal to one so that is the proof that any number or anything of value raised to zero is always equal to one okay as we have said if you have five square over five square is equal to five raised to zero is equal to one so if you have <clears throat> so if you have one thousand raised to zero is equal to one no matter how big it is if it is raised to the exponent zero is equal to one so if you have a cube b raised to the fifth power raised to zero is equal to one okay the next topic under under the law of exponents for division is is a negative exponent like for example if you have a raised to negative a okay a raised to a negative exponent to solve for this you have to make your exponent positive by bringing it down so that would become a raised to n okay that is the formula and consequently if you have and if you have also a 1 over a raised to n to make that positive you bring that up so it would be a raised to n so remember that when you have a negative exponent to make it positive bring it down to your denominator okay and if you have a negative exponent you bring it up because this is understood to be one okay so it's no need to write your one don't forget if it's negative bring it down and if you have a negative denominator bring it up example one of a raised to negative n okay example is when you have x raised to negative Four. to solve for this again you have to bring it down in raised to x raised to 4 so x negative 4 you have to bring it down to make it 1 over x raised to 4 okay if you have if you have x negative 5 y negative 3 okay to make this positive you have to bring it down you have x raised to the fifth power and y cube that is how to do it that's it for today i hope you have learned another exciting topic regarding regarding the law of exponents for division so please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so that you will be updated when new videos will be uploaded so this is mr matt techniques saying thank you for watching until again until next time bye bye